What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to burn an ISO image, um, a file with the format .iso. Um, basically an ISO image is a almost one-to-one -one copy of what you would get if you pulled uh, all the data off, let's say like a CD or a DVD, uh, Blu-ray, um, could possibly be you know, some other format like a hard drive. Um, but. Uh, Basically, let's say you downloaded a, downloaded a file, a zip file, you unzipped it, and you end up with an ISO file. Um, what you're going to want to do with that ISO file, most of the time, is burn it to a DVD or a CD. Um, here, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and going back, uh, one of the first videos that I did was how to remove Windows passwords uh, from Windows XP, Vista, or 7 um, using a program called uh, Offline NT Password and Registry Editor. Um, I'd give them the links. Uh, I'll put them down here at the bottom too. But um, well, basically, what, what you uh, what you had to do was you had to download this uh, zip file and. Once you open up this zip file, uh, it contains an ISO. We'll go ahead and drag it to the desktop here. Um, now this ISO, we don't, a lot of people get this and they're like, oh, okay, what, what am I supposed to do with this ISO? It doesn't do anything. You, you double click it and it, it probably won't do nothing. Um, in Windows 7, uh, looks like looks like you can't burn ISOs from Windows 7, so that's good news. Um, but what a program that I like to use, um, real popular, it's called Image Burn. And uh, go to imageburn.com, go to download. Uh, I like to download from Beta News. You can pick any of these, of course. Uh, we'll download it here. And this is going to allow you to burn pretty much any kind of image. And there's different images too. There's you got .iso. Um, and there's there's about a dozen other ones. You got Ben and Q's. Um, you got a lot of different stuff. Um, but uh, uh, the main one that we're focusing on now is uh, as ISOs. Um, sorry about my firewall here. <clears throat> but uh, basically, this image burn is going to allow you to burn anything. You can also create ISOs from uh, current disks that you have. So if you have like a CD that you want to back up because you want to keep safe or whatever and um, you just want to have a one-to-one -one copy you can create an ISO and that way you know if you ever want to go back and you want to burn it again you can you can burn it and just have just one file uh, to burn that disk uh, be careful installing this a lot of this uh, these new installers are BS uh, adding in all this extra stuff that you don't want that most people just click through <clears throat> All right, close. Now we have image burn installed. Let's go ahead and right click on this ISO <clears throat> and say open with. And you don't have to, but we'll go ahead and do this. Choose default program. Uh, we'll go ahead and click image burn and make sure this is connect uh, checked. Always use the selected program to open this. We'll say okay. So it's going to open this image in image burn. Now I don't have any. This is a virtual machine that I'm running off of, uh, so I don't have any, it's not detecting any of my, my DVD uh, burners or CD burners. But what you're going to do is you're going to put your blank disk in there, uh, in your CD burner. Uh, you're going to select the disk, uh, or select the drive. Um, it should automatically be, be selected if you only have one. Um, if you have more than one, select the one that you want to burn to, of course. And then just hit burn. And... Um, let it go. Um, it's going to burn the disk for you. Burn everything you need on that disk and it'll let you know what it's done. When it's done, um, you can you can play that disk just like any other disk that was pressed in a factory somewhere. Um, a lot of times, like this one in particular, the uh, NT Offline uh, Password and Registry Changer, it will be bootable. Um, so, you know, if you're booting from, you know, Dell, you can uh, hit F12 at the boot screen, uh, boot off the disk. Um, if uh, you use an HP, you can hit Escape, uh, choose uh, boot drive, and choose the CD-ROM. Uh, remove those passwords, whatever you got to do. But that's uh, that's how you burn an ISO image. Um, if you got any questions? Put them in the comments, and uh, hope this helped.